Okay, welcome to a Ginger Mathematician video where I'm going to go through my reaction to the IGCSE results that have come out today. However, make sure you watch until the end of the video because I'm going to go through my three tips for exactly what you can do with your IGCSE results. So, back to it. What do I think about the IGCSE results? Well, I think they're absolutely fantastic and it's really shown that if you put the hard work in over the last two years, you know, you've got the grades that you deserve. And you know, I'm really proud of you know, not just my students, but my students that have watched uh, my videos as well and you know, really use that to help them get the very best grades they can. So really well done. Be proud. Take a break and just think to yourself, you know what, I'm on the right lines here and I'm really ready for whichever course I'm going to do afterwards. And that is the next key point. So what do you do, whether you had good results, you had bad results, or somewhere in the middle, exactly what do you do next? Okay, so my tip number one is enjoy the results. Enjoy that feeling of having success, of getting those A grades, getting those A star grades. Just enjoy the moment, because you know, we're all too familiar with, okay, I've got a result, what do I do next? Just enjoy the moment, meet up with your friends, really enjoy you know, that real meaning behind getting those grades and all the hard work you've put in. Okay, and number two is now look at your options for either A-levels or IGCSE or CBSE, whichever course that you are doing next. So because of the results, maybe you got better than expected in one subject or not so good in another subject. So have a think, see, for example, if you're doing IB, okay, what high level have you chosen? What standard level have you chosen? what do you think will be the best option for you going forward? Maybe you even think because of the results, you want to do a different career. You may want to go into medicine, you want to go into psychology, something else. So really have a think, sit by yourself, really think about what you want to do with your courses when you go into next year. And if you're doing A-levels, for example, doing AS and A2, then really think carefully about the choices you're going to make. Because you, know, you really limit your options when you go into A-level, so you need to think of subjects that make sense together. So for example, maths, physics, chemistry go together very well, English, history and the language go together very well, you want to go down that route. So really think carefully about the route you want to do. Okay, and my number three tip is to get yourself prepared. So remember IGCSE is a springboard, okay, it is allowing you to go on to the next course, A-levels, IB for example. This is your chance in the next couple of weeks to get yourself organized, think about how you're going to take notes, are you going to do it digitally, are you going to do it you know, on paper, etc. Are you going to have a folder system on the computer or in real life? So think about how you want to organize yourself and that will you know, get you on the right path then for year 12 and year 13 to come. Okay, so a massive well done again for your IGCSE results. Again, please put down in the comments below how you got on, um, whether you found my paper two, paper four, paper six videos really useful, or you'd want me to do a different kind of video that would have helped you better last year. And yeah, that will help the next year 11s as they go into doing the IGCSEs. All right, bye-bye for now.